Hello family, this is Pastor Gregory D. Hunter of the Olivet Oakland Church in Oakland, California. And it's that time again, pastors check in. I trust you are having a blessed morning, afternoon, a blessed evening. I trust you're having a blessed week. In just a few seconds, one of our ministers from our ministerial staff is going to come and give you a word from the Lord. We do need a word from the Lord. Not only do we need a word from the Lord, but it's prayer time. We need to pray in this season that we're living in. And you can join us Monday through Friday at 5 a.m. Yes, 5 a.m. Monday through Friday on our prayer line. Listen, if you like this video, if you're blessed by this video, share it with someone. You can go on Facebook, OIMBC, and like us on Facebook. You can go to YouTube, Olivet Oakland, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I trust you will be blessed by all the videos and services that you will see. Listen, if you're being blessed um, by the Olivet Church, just take that cell phone, open up your camera, and point it to the QR code in the top of your screen, and it will take you right to the giving app, and you can be a blessing to our ministry. Listen, God loves you, and so do I. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I bring you greetings from the Olivet, Oakland, where Pastor Gregory Hunter is our pastor. I'm Minister Portia, and I just want to give you another word of encouragement on today. The word of encouragement is this, what the Lord says in Jeremiah. He says that I am the Lord, the God of all mankind. Is there anything too hard for me? He asked the question, is there anything too hard for me? And this is the question that I ask to you on today. Olivet and family and friends, is there anything too hard for God? No, there is nothing. There is nothing that God can't do. There's nothing that God can't um, see us through. We've, we've never been in a situation like this, but we can recall the times that we've been through things and how the Lord has brought us out. We can recall the times where we thought we were in situations and we weren't gonna make it through, but God showed up and he showed up mightily. So I wanna remind you that there is nothing too hard for God. There's nothing that our God can't do. His name is still greater than every name. The name of Jesus is still greater than the name of coronavirus. It's still greater than the name of panic and pandemic. His name is still greater than all things. So we have to remember in this season, and this is just a season that God is still greater than all things and that there is nothing too hard for him. Um, we have gotten so where we rely on technology, we, were not, we rely on Alexa, and we rely on Google, and we rely on Siri, but I had a, 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 a something happen with Siri the other day, I wasn't even talking to her, but Siri responded and she said, I'm sorry, I can't help you right now, try back later. I am so grateful that God doesn't tell me that he can't help me, and he doesn't tell me to try back later, but his word says that he still is a present help in time of trouble. So I'm thankful on today and I want to encourage you to remember that God is still a present help in time of trouble. There's nothing too hard for him. All we have to do is trust him. We may not understand what he's doing. We may not even like what he's doing, but we can trust the knowing that at the end of this, God's going to get the glory. He's getting the glory even now. He's bringing us together. He's, he's calling us to encourage each other. He's calling us to support each other and to be there for each other. So I want to remind you on today, no matter what the media says, no matter what the news says, no matter what you are feeling right now, know and understand that God is a God that never fails and that there is nothing too hard for him. Amen. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you for the reminder of your word, oh God, that there is nothing too hard for you, oh God. Lord, we just thank you on today, oh God, that when we can't depend on anything else, oh God, we can't depend on our finances, we can't depend on our employment, oh God, we can't even depend on those in control. We can depend on what your word says, oh God. So Lord, we just pray on today, oh God, that you would comfort us even as we continue to go through this, oh God, that there will be glory after this, oh God. Lord, that you are still getting the glory and the honor out of this, oh God. So Lord, I pray right now that 
that you will continue to settle the hearts of your people, oh God, that you will continue to clear their minds, oh God, and give them what they need on this day, oh God. Lord, we're grateful that even through this, you're bringing us closer together, oh God. Even through this, oh God, you're manifesting yourself great and mighty, oh God. And Lord, for that, we say thank you, oh God. Lord, we say thank you that you haven't left us and that you won't leave us, oh God. Your word says that you won't forsake us, oh God. And Lord, we thank you for the reminder on today, oh God, that you are who you are, oh God. And Lord, we say thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, and it is so. Amen. If you were encouraged or am blessed by this encouragement on today, we just ask that you would like it and share it with someone else. Be blessed. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe.